What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Three Man Broadcast, and I am your host, Notorious Blaze. And today, I am bringing you a boss guide on the surge. And today's boss is Firebug, guys. This boss took me probably about a good six, seven tries. Uh, to be honest, Pax didn't take me this long. Pax probably I killed him. I think the third try. Just because it took me a minute to figure out what, how to get him to go into overload mode. So, anyways guys, with this boss, you will notice that he has a lot of legs. You're aiming for the legs at the start. You want to take out at least all of his legs until he's down to three to enter the second phase. As you'll see, you attack him, but don't get too cocky trying to attack his legs. And if the locking system works for you perfectly, which surprisingly it did some for me, you can actually get this over with pretty quick. I say probably within like the first three to five minutes if you do it perfectly. But make sure you stay in close proximity, guys. He will pounce towards you or he will shoot you with his rockets, which will set you on fire and do damage over time. And it's not fun, which you just now get to witness it. Another quick tip, guys be careful and not step under him because he will just like flat out belly flop you no lie and it does a good amount of damage so be warned about that and just keep on getting don't get too aggressive but keep on getting like attacking his legs attacking his joints just hit him as much as you can and once you get him down it will knock you back letting you know you're entering phase two now phase two is a, this is where the pace picks up a lot more it gets faster he, I don't think he does a lot more damage, but it just really gets faster. So his main three attacks is you have his spiral one still, but it's a lot longer. <laughs> and then you have his um, flame, his thrusters, which will, which will burn you. Sorry about that. Along with the flame lasts for probably a good five to ten seconds on the ground. So make sure you stay out of it. On the second phase, guys, you want to work on your verti vertical attacks and only your vertical attacks because he is now floating and it's going to make it a lot harder to horizontally hit him. But I will show you that you can do it because I know I've did it several times in this whole entire boss fight. So anyways, guys, to make this quick and simple, I'm going to speed up where I get rid of his three legs so I can show you the easiest way to get rid of the brain because those three legs are protecting the main brain that you're wanting to hit to do a lot of damage to him. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, here is the final phase of the boss fight. As you can see, I almost got smashed, but I got lucky and hit him for the last time. Now this is where he will use his uh, burners and his um, dash at you and smash, okay? Each time that he will, if, if you can get him to smash, after he gets done smashing, after you dodge, dodge quickly into him. I found this out a little later, and it took me just a few minutes to get rid of him. It made it so much easier once I started dashing and hitting him all at the same time. I promise you guys, you will have no problem with this boss fight. It's pretty easy once you know how to kill him. Like right here, I didn't do it, but I still got some damage. That's the best time to do any damage to him. Or right here. But he will do that right after if you're close. So you gotta be quick, which comes with the dash attacks. That is what will make this more easier on you and quickly have success. But as soon as you dash attack, you dash attack away from him so you can't get any free hits on you. So if you guys enjoyed this boss guide, I will be bringing you much more of these things throughout the gameplay that I get to play of this game. I've been enjoying it. I'm loving it. I used to play Lords of the Fallen. That one I kind of got away from. It didn't really stand out to me a lot. But anyways, guys, good luck on the battlefield.